Hey everyone, HHO for all. Just want to share with you guys new material that I'm using on my gaskets. I was using the 1 16th thick uh, shower pan liner material, um, but that stuff you really have to torque it down to get a good seal in between each plate. And so I knew there had to be something better that um, didn't take as much force to get a seal in between the plates. So uh, I ended up finding this uh, solid grip liner. It's uh, stuff that you use on your uh, <clears throat> cabinet drawers to keep the plates and cups up off the paint so that way it doesn't uh, peel off around the rim of the cups or whatever. Anyway, um, you can get a uh, whole roll of this stuff. It's four foot by one and a half foot. And this stuff is uh, it's about one eighth thick. And it really, really sticks well onto the plates. has a, a no-slip surface on it. And um, I'll actually show you how no-slip this is, or non-slip, whatever. Um, this is all the stuff that I have left over from my latest fuel cell that I assembled. Um, and you can actually pick it up, and it sticks. And it takes a little bit of effort to actually get it to fall off. But once you put it on your plate... It pretty much stays there, and you don't have to worry about it moving around. And then as you wrench it down, because it's, it kind of squishes a little bit, as you uh, tighten the nuts or tighten the bolts on your uh, cell, on your dry cell, it'll actually squeeze down into the material, and it'll give you a much, much better seal than you would have had using any of that the PVC shower pan liner. So... Anyway, I don't know if you were having the same problem that I was, but I know I wasn't happy with the shower pan liner. And I put this on my new cell that I built about a week ago. And I've been testing it. And after a full week of testing, and it's, it's been going nonstop. Um, no particles in the water, no discoloration. And it looks like this might be the next, uh, next big thing for my gasket material. Because it's it's really good you know I'm nothing but happy with this stuff and uh, if you've been having the same problems that I have or even if you haven't this material is so easy to use you can cut it with scissors you can cut it with a knife you can cut it with a razor blade it's really really simple and uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of work to cut out your gaskets and for me that's a time saver so anyway that's that um, HHO for all I'm out of here